Once again, my favorite time of the year has arrived, where visions of sugar plums dance through my head. Okay, well, maybe not literally, but you get what I'm saying. So, if you're like me and you're looking for a quick way to spread some holiday cheer, I have got a great project for you. Let's take a look. I introduce you to the S2 Caroling Robot. This robot will navigate a room and stop and play a carol to objects that it sees. For added festive flair, lights on the tree are connected to the S2 hacker port and blink in time with the music. So today, we'll show you how to use your S2 robot's hacker port, as well as how to hack into your S2 robot's spin code after you've written a program in the GUI. So before we get started, we're going to need to collect up a couple of things. An S2 robot, obviously, a small lighted Christmas tree, which is available at any local craft store, a soldering iron, some solder, and some wire cutters and strippers, which we'll use to hack into the tree, and of course, our safety glasses to wear while we're soldering. Let's get started. First, let's hack the tree. Since you connect to the S2 hacker port through a three pin header, we're going to solder wires with the female connector on the end to create four strands of light with one common ground connection that will connect to the S2 hacker port. Once you've finished hacking your tree, it's a good idea to make sure your connections are correct. You can simply use the original power pack that came with the tree and make sure each of the four strands light when power is connected. Lastly, let's connect the wires to the S2 hacker port. Keep in mind that the I.O. pins are connected through a 3 volt level translator, but the power pin is connected directly to 5 volts. So if you connect your light strands directly to power, be sure to add a series resistor, otherwise you'll burn out your LEDs. Now once we've made the connections to the S2 hacker port, we'll put our robot back together and use some Velcro to attach the tree to the front of the robot. So now that we've got our tree hacked and our S2 ready, we can move on to writing our code to get the robot to autonomously navigate a room and play a song to objects that it sees. Now, I chose the song O Tannenbaum because I thought it was fitting, but you should feel free to pick anything that you want. There's tons of great sheet music available for free online. So we're going to use the S2 GUI software to take care of our navigation code and to compose our songs. But we can't use that software to directly access the Propeller I.O. pins on the S2 hacker port. But don't fret. One of the really great features of the S2 GUI software is that you can easily jump and view the Propeller's native programming language spin. So once we finish writing our navigation and music code, we'll jump on over to the Propeller tool and add our LED tree blinking code there. Let's give it a go. Okay, so this is the worksheet with the tiles to navigate the S2 and play a song. We have the navigation routine in a continuous loop since we'll want the robot to always be checking whether there's something in its way. When the robot sees something directly in front of it, it will stop, call a subroutine that plays the song, then back up and turn to find a new target. If the robot sees anything on its right or left, it will turn until it's directly facing the object before it plays the song. This condition here will check the stall sensor to determine whether the S2 has crashed into anything, and if it has, it will back up and turn away from the obstruction. Otherwise, if nothing's in its way, it will move forward. Now that we have the GUI worksheet completed, let's add our Blinky code. To view the spin program, click the View Propeller Code icon. This will open the Propeller tool. Scrolling through the code, we can find the program we wrote in the Pub Green and Pub Yellow sections. The pub sections are called methods in spin, which are simply blocks of code. So for our blink code, let's add a new method under the yellow block called blink. Now we have our LED strands connected to pins two through five on the S2 hacker port. So we'll want to set these pins to outputs. Next, we'll want the strands of lights to blink at alternating rates when the song is playing. And we do so by typing the following code where out A turns the LEDs on and off, wait count pauses the program for about half of a second, and repeat 23 repeats this loop 23 times, which, after some experimentation, is roughly how long the song lasts. Now that we have our blink code written, we need to call it from our main program. This is the piece of code that detects an object and calls the music code, so we'll want to insert our light blinking code right after we stop the robot. 
You may have heard that the propeller is a multi-core microcontroller, meaning that it can execute multiple tasks simultaneously. We'll want to take advantage of that here, since we want the lights to blink at the same time the music plays. So we'll use the command cognew to launch a new processor. Now we can load this program to our S2 by selecting run compile current load EEPROM. Then, once you've loaded your code onto your robot, you can set it off to spread holiday cheer to whatever it may find. Now, the code we wrote today is wide open for modification. For example, maybe you want your robot to play more than one song. Can you modify the code so that it plays a different tune when it finds an object? Or maybe you want to spread continuous holiday cheer and just have the robot keep playing songs while it autonomously navigates a room. Can you modify the code to do that? I personally cannot wait to see what you come up with. So feel free to share your projects in the comment section below, on our forums at forums.parallax.com, or give us a shout on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And until next time, happy hacking!